I would ask that they would respond in, in writing subsequent to this hearing is, as alleged in the Motorola lawsuit, did Huawei attempt to steal trade secrets using Motorola employees? And we'll await that answer. Thank you, and I yield back. Yes, thank you. 这个是一个书面的要求，就是有关呃摩托的这个呃纠纷的这个事情，关于摩托这个诉讼，我想从书面上面得到你们的回复，是否有通过摩托的员工获取呃贸易的秘密？希望之后可以从书面的形式得到你
who has about 1.3% of the share of Huawei. And the information I've just provided to you has already been uh, included in our annual report in detail. As to the last part of the question, uh, whether uh, how many non-Chinese shareholders do we have at Huawei? Uh, due to these uh, foreign uh, exchange and controlled policies in China, we have only about 100 people who are non-Chinese citizens and have the share of Huawei. And that happens in quite early stage of the establishment of the program. And after that duration of times, we have not ad uh, added other uh, non-Chinese stakeholders. Okay, thank you for that answer. Uh, a follow-up, uh, the draft employee stock agreement you provided indicates that Mr. Wren shall have a right to veto any decision or any of the decisions of the Huawei Board of Directors, Commission, and Shareholders meeting of the company. Has Mr. Wren ever vetoed any decision of the shareholders? Has Mr. Wren ever vetoed any decision of the board? And is it fair to say that Huawei is an employee-owned company when Mr. Wren has veto power over all decisions? 在华为给我们提供的呃员工持股相关章程的草案里面，我们看到任正非先生对华为公司的业务决定有否决权，不管是来自于呃我们的董事会或者是我们股东大会所做的决策。那么我想问一下，任先生有没有使用过他这个否决权，否决股东大会或者是董事会的呃相关的决议？呃，这是个。非常好的问题，啊，我今年在应该是今年三月份在欧洲和呃任总还有我们全球的这个顾问在一次会议上，任总说过他是有这个否决权，但是他从来没有使用过这个否决权。嗯。Thank you for your questions. In fact, in a meeting, uh, when I meet with Mr. Ren and all the global advisors of Huawei in Europe, we've asked that question to Mr. Ren, and he said that he, although he has the veto right, he has never used it. Okay. Uh, a couple more questions, uh, both for Mr. Ding and Mr. Ju. Uh, the um, uh, we've heard uh, how both companies claim to be independent of the Chinese government uh, and their influence. Uh, that said, have you ever marketed your company to potential customers as being backed by or supported by the Chinese government? And we, we've heard it from other companies around the world that, that have heard this. And how would you respond to what those other companies are saying about you? And um, we could start with Mr. Ding and then uh, Mr. Ju. <coughs> 金先生、朱先生，这个问题是问两位的。两位都声称你们的公司是独于独立于中国政府的影响的，嗯、呃，也没有在市场营销的活动里边，嗯、呃，像其他的这个公司说过，是因为有中国政府在背后的支持。但是这个我们从嗯、呃、其他的一些报道或竞争对手里面有听到过这样的评论。那么你们对这样一个说法有什么样的回应？对不起，我没听清楚，我再听一下。嗯，呃，是是是否在我们的呃市场的营销活动里面曾经提到过是有中国政府背后的支持？我们如果说是没有的话，因为我们在其他的公司听到过说华为在呃市场营销的活动里面有这样的一个说法，那么对此作何回应？我我不知道你从哪得到这些信息。华公司没有得到中国政府的支持。我在华公司十七年，我在中国市场，在国外的市场都工作过，从来没有得到所谓的呃中国政府的一些支持。嗯。I do not know where that information comes from. However, Huawei has never been that kind of backed by the uh, Chinese government, and I've worked in Huawei for 17 years, and I've worked in China and also markets outside of China. I have not seen any occasion like that. 
Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. 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 到一九九七年，公司第一次的 IPO， 到香二零零四年的 IPO， 以及零九年，以及今年，我们在嗯资本市场发行债券的时候，我们可以看出，当证券公司每一次需要资金的时候，都是通过资本市场，都是去到资本市场进行相关的融资活动。来支撑公司的发展，这说明中兴是一个透明的、市场化运作以及资本化运作的、符合国际运作标准的公司。我们十四万个股东，这么多年以来，一直对我们的经营活动进行监管和呃审计，从来没有发现我们跟。超出我们运作的行为，因此，从上述的事实可以表明，我们跟中国政府没有任何的特殊的关系。我想，我再举一个我自己的特殊的，呃，个人的经历。从九八年我加入公司，参加 CDMA 的研发，当我们两千零一年参加联通 CDMA 网络建设的时候，我们满怀热情，我们。相信我们能得到，呃，更好的市场地位。但是在那个时候，我们仅仅获得了百分之七的市场份额。也就是说，在那个时候，即使在那个时候，当中芯公司成立了十五年之后，在那个时间，我们依然需要努力的通过我们的技术创新，通过我们的努力。来赢得中国客户的信任。如果我们有中国的政府的支持，我们应该远远大于、高于仅仅百分之七的市场份额。因此，综上所述，中兴通讯从它成立以来，一直是一个透明的上市公司，它一直致力于将中兴公司发展成一个全球标准规范框架下的透明的上市公司。Uh, thank you for your question, Congressman. Um, I think I sh should uh, share with you some facts to demonstrate how ZTE is acting as an independent, transparent listed company. And if you look from the time we were established in 1985 until our first IPO in 1997 uh, in Shenzhen, followed by a second IPO in 2004 in Hong Kong, and then subsequently in 2009 and this year, uh, when we sold bonds, what you find is that each time ZTE needed money, it went to the capital markets to get the money needed for its further development. And I think this demonstrates that this company operates according to market principles and in accordance with um, international standards. And our operations are overseen by our 140,000 shareholders, and they're also regularly audited. And we have never stepped beyond the bounds of any normal business operations. We have no special relationship with the Chinese government. And I should share with you something from my own personal experience. Because I joined ZTE in 1998, in, I went into the research and development department. And in 2001, um, CDMA network technology was just beginning to develop. And we were very enthusiastic. And we felt that since we were working on this, it would put us in a very favorable market condition, uh, market position in China. And somewhat to our dismay, we wound up getting only 7% of the uh, market share in China, which is to say that even 15 years after we were founded, uh, we still had to count only on our own abilities to innovate and our own hard work in order to develop uh, and to uh, uh, grow effectively in China. And I think you can just say, if we had Chinese government backing, how is it that we would have such small market share um, in our endeavors? 
So I think that you can see then that since ever since we were established, we have been transparent. We have grown. Uh, we have tried to become a global company, and we operate the way any other listed company would operate. Thank you. Yield back, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, well, I share this, the question. I'm going to ask questions of Huawei, and I share a lot of the uh, skepticism that um, um, you can probably take away from the questions that have been asked um, during this morning and part of this afternoon in terms of the um, the lack of the government and Huawei being disconnected and independent of one and the other. Having said that, I want to ask you what percentage of Huawei's revenue is generated in China and what percentage is generated outside of China? Uh,我们可以从下午和下午问的这么多的问题可以看到,嗯,对华为公司的很多的怀疑,那么我也同样有这样的怀疑。我们没有看到足够的这个信息告诉我们说,华为跟政府的,呃,华为的运作跟政府
Um, it sounds like, like he's to, having a little more trouble. Uh-huh. I would like That's to enough. explain a, a little bit on why Huawei has 30% of its revenue coming from inside China. It's nothing strange in this. For example, in uh, in the United States, Cisco also has 50% of its revenue coming from domestic, and the other 50% approximately comes from the overseas market, if I remember well. And also, China is a country of large population. As, as although we have a lot of foreign vendors in the same country, for example, Ericsson and Nokia Siemens Network, the market is big enough. And since we also initiated our business in this market, it's natural that we have such percentage of business in China. When 包括英国、美国，我们都想获得一个长足的一个发展。我们都希望为当地的社会、社区做出我们的贡献。我们都希望创造更多的就业，这也是我作为美国华为在美国这个代表的这个职责。啊，当然我们在美国遇到的挑战
good solutions to uh, cybersecurity issues. And the result of that is we built a cybersecurity evaluation center, which tracks the hardware and software provided by Huawei and for all vendors. I think this is a very practical way to address cybersecurity. Um, question, so in the United States of America, who are your main competitors? Given your lack of success, I'd like to know um, who your competitors in the United States. I know you've mentioned, I've heard Motorola and Cisco. Are there any others? 那么，在美国市场不成功的话，我想知道，呃，你们在美国主要的竞争对手是哪一些？刚才您提到了摩托和思科，还有其他吗？嗯，我非常不好意思告诉你，我们在美国的竞争对手是谁，因为我们在美国的网络销售，我们的份额只有百分之零点五，主要供应商是爱立信、阿朗、思科。我们没法，我们没法跟他们构成竞争。但是，华为在美国去年一年，我们就采购了六十六亿美金，所以我认为华为是美国的企业的合作伙伴，而不是竞争对手。嗯、I really feel I do not know how to answer your questions of who are the major competitors of Huawei because we only have zero point five percent. Of the market share in the carrier network market in the United States, the major vendors of the industry are Ericsson, Alcatel, Lucent, and Cisco. And there's no way that we can compete with them. However, we procure 6.6 .6 billion U.S. dollars of goods and services in the United States, and we are the partner of the American、uh, companies rather than competitors. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. You've、thank、been you. very generous. Well, thank you very much,、uh, gentlemen, for、uh, being here today. The committee has a,、uh, a very important uh, 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 job to do here,、uh, and we don't take this job lightly.、Uh, it is our job and responsibility to ensure that the networks of the United States,、uh, States meet our national security standards for the protection of the American people.、Uh, I can say I'm a little disappointed today. I was hoping for more transparency,、uh, more directness, and some of the answers that we have already answered by in written documentation and have not received.、Uh, and several things stood out to me today. When you're asking to come into a U.S. market and control large swaths of our infrastructure,、uh, and you're not aware of Chinese state law that would require you to disclose the very sensitive and personal information of the individuals operating over that market is very concerning. Just the fact that you weren't aware of that, even if there is a conflict to, of which would, could be mediated, very very concerning.、Uh, the fact that you are a strategic sector、uh, in China, and there are many public statements about. Your companies being national champions, which has a different meaning in China than it does in the United States, and you're just absolutely not familiar with it when your own public officials are on public record making those statements.、Um, other inconsistencies worry me greatly.、Uh, we'll have to have a tough assignment here to try to go back and try to give a fairer and thorough evaluation of all the facts, both public、uh, answers here at this hearing. And in classified、uh, collection to make the determination of what will end up in our report. I appreciate you appearing here today,、uh, and、uh, I'm sure you'll be hearing from us. I would urge you strongly to answer the questions that you have agreed to this committee. You would provide the answers to.、Uh, and again, one other concern that we have is there is a center, a sphere of government influence in your companies of which you either can't. Identify their roles and responsibilities, or won't. Either way is unacceptable、uh, when you're talking about entrusting millions of sensitive bits of information from U.S. citizens and our companies. So, with that,、uh, this meeting is adjourned.
啊，现在不方便。